Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you piano lovers all over the world. And today we will take up the exercises of Anno, uh, H-A-N-O, in Hanel to the English-speaking world, which the whole world plays. The thing about the book, though, and I mean, when I was 13, I, I, I started learning to play the piano at the age of 11, which, is, which was rather late. You, I mean, mind you, you can even start as an adult, you can even start as a senior. But if you really, you know, if you want to become, like my dream was to become a concert pianist, but I, it never happened. But I am a dedicated piano teacher instead, which is also a very good thing to be. But uh, you know that uh, I started at 11, and by the age of 14 or 15, I was playing all the 60 exercises of Hannah in one hour every day. I'll just switch off the heating. Sorry, we don't want the sound of that in the video. And <clears throat> I never became a virtuoso, even though Hannon claims that if you play these exercises every day you will become a virtuoso. It's a rather a tall claim. And to become a virtuoso, you have to play the exercises of journey at least up to and including the art of finger dexterity. <clears throat> and then go on to study the, <coughs> the etudes of Chopin. And if you have a really good teacher and you practice many hours a day, then you might end up becoming a virtuoso. Yeah, virtuoso is a very rare thing. But all concert pianists, of course, are virtuosos. They have to be. But speaking of ourselves, we piano lovers, uh, one problem with Hanan is it's entirely in C major. So you acquire a certain degree of proficiency on the white keys, which are bigger. And then when you try to play on the black keys, you find yourself slipping and falling from the black keys, which are smaller and narrower. So whereas Hannon has its benefits and a great deal, especially for beginners. I make all my beginning students play Hannon, at least a few exercises. But, you know, one should also play the Hannon on the black keys. At least the first two exercises should be played in C major as well as C sharp major. Now, I will first play the first two exercises as Hannon wrote them in C major. Please make sure that you do not rotate your hand, but keep your wrist steady and lift your fingers individually. exercises, excuse me, but now to play them in C-sharp major, all you have to remember is that the only two white keys are F and C. 
Otherwise, it's all the five black trees. And here too, don't go too far inside. Then it'll be hard to put the keys down. So remain in the middle of the black key. And once again, avoid hand rotation, wrist rotation. Uh, you know, I, I cannot play in C sharp major at almost half the speed as I do in C major. The best I can do for now in C sharp major is... suggest that you start your warm-up every morning by playing these two exercises in C sharp major and then play all your scales which start on the five black keys you know C sharp major E flat major F sharp major A flat major B flat major and only then play the remaining seven scales that start on the white keys if you are a self-taught adult beginner, I also very highly recommend the exercises of Aloise Schmidt, S-C-H-M-I-D-T, which is German for Schmidt. So S-C-H-I-M-D-T, Schmidt, Aloise Schmidt, A-L-O-Y-S. They're wonderful because they make you hold the keys down and then lift one finger at a time so that you acquire, you know, independence of the fingers and individual control over each finger. It is a marvelous thing. And uh, I wish more teachers would recommend the the exercises of Aloish Major. So once again, thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and also like and above all, please post a comment. Your comments mean the world to me because that way I feel we are talking to each other. So thank you once again for watching and happy piano playing.